Hello everybody and welcome back. Today, the Pit Chick and I are headed to Columbus, Georgia to run some two-wheel drive buggies. See, I got my HB Racing D2 Evo back there ready to go. Been had this thing built for a week or two. Very excited about running it for the first time. Got a little bit of work to do on it when we get there. I've only ran it out in the driveway, uh, getting it broke in and everything, but we're gonna get you some footage. We may do some live stuff, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna go have fun. It's at Columbus, Georgia, Hobby Town. They're having the Grand Slam, Sean Harding's race, thousand dollar payout to two wheel drive mod buggy. Um, so, should be a big turnout. We should have a good time. So, I'm excited. I hadn't got to race in a while because the track closed down. So, this is my first time to race since then. So, since October, yeah. So, uh, kind of different for us, but uh, we're going to make the best of it and have a good time. So, stay tuned. So here we are, we made it to Hobby Town. It's, it's a bit chick. Let's walk around, look. This place is freaking awesome. The pictures don't do it any justice. Just like usual when you show up to a track, there's a lot more elevation than it looks like it is. Track, like Play-Doh. <laughs> That's the rotation we're going. So we'll cross over there. All right, y'all. This is first time out on the track. We're gonna give him lots of grace this time. And let's hope and pray I don't have to go flip him over. I told him not to wreck. Oh, Lord. Well, it's been an eventful day here at practice. I was getting the car ready to go for my last practice run and hook the battery up backwards. And uh, it pretty much exploded in my face. All my hair and my beard are singed, my arm hairs are singed. And I got some pictures of it. I'll show you a picture here at some point. And uh, anyway, everybody cheered me on and talked me into putting it back together. David Sawyer over here has been helping me grasp back together. Craig over there helped convince me. So I've got a spare servo ESC receiver. I'm sorry, not ESC, it's transponder uh, servo and receiver. And Devon Bearer let me borrow an ESC. So we're, we're sitting here, it's about almost midnight and we got it fixing the the motor's not working, so I got another, I've got a 5.5 five we're gonna throw in there and see if it works. So stay tuned, we'll, hopefully we'll have you some laps here in a minute. I hammer hard at it this morning. Everything's uh, corroded and seized up. Just tell them what you did last night. Looked up the battery backwards. 
Because it was fire. past his bedtime. Yeah. yeah. He said the car went up in a big ball of flames in my face. Still Sin. smells like singed hair. Singed all my hairs. Almost now my bearings are locked up. <laughs> I got a long way to go in short amount of time. All right, here we are on race day. Got the car all back together. Got, uh, stayed all night, helped me to about one o'clock. And uh, we got it ready to go. I made a few laps with it. It was pretty good. I've got a 5.5 MacLand motor because my other one's fried. Uh, so here's all some of my burnt electronics. Uh, didn't bother putting them back in. I had a spare uh, servo transponder and receiver. So we put those in there. I borrowed the SE from Devon Bearer somewhere over there. So anyway, we're back in business. Uh, Tell them what you almost called. Oh yeah, she's got to remind you that uh, <laughs> I had my phone over there and set my I saw it hot soldering iron on my phone and caught it just in time. So phone's okay, case not so much. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll try to get you some coverage and we'll be back. Sorry, Devon. I... Holy hell. Yeah. 
Take a look at the track right there. There's Sean Harding, the man right there. The man, the myth, the legend. They got the track painted for all the starting spots. Like we're gonna start up in that corner and go all the way around here to the back. Overall, I'm pretty happy with mine. I'm starting sixth, fifth, fifth, I think. Um, Two wheel drive mod buggy in A main. Uh, considering the car was on fire last night. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's got I've got the dialed in pretty good. It's very consistent. The speed was off just a touch uh, But it's faster than I can react. So I'm super happy with it. I can make clean laps without wrecking now So that's a that's a good thing. So that's what it takes. So we'll see. I'm gonna start in the fifth spot Kind of a bad spot to stop spot to start We're gonna get it on here in about 15 or 20 minutes. Y'all stay tuned. Drive buggy in the ankle or the 
side of the shin, whatever you want to call it, still hurts. Um, then the same night, I yesterday night, I yesterday started, night, yesterday <laughs> night, last night, you're tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm worn out. Last night, I uh, yesterday. I probably already said this a hundred times, but I had the most spectacular lipo fire explosion. Explosion, car meltdown I've ever seen. And I um, missed it. I was at the hotel. Lisa was at the hotel and uh, uh, the car caught on fire. David Sawyer stayed all night with me till about 1 a.m. We got it back together, borrowed an ESC from Devon. Luckily, I had all the other electronics, so all the electronics were burned. He had, I borrowed a lot of parts from him. I wound up getting the car together about 1 a.m., ran it. And on top of that, uh, Chris Van Ayer helped me a lot. Just started sending me messages of what to do because he had helped Cole Ogden with his. And he was a tremendous help with, with all the changes I made because I was kind of lost. <clears throat> Hadn't missed a two-wheel drive buggy in a long time. So we got the car really good. And I ended up qualifying fifth in A main and finished sixth. Kind of a rough race. I uh, pushed the car a little much, made a few mistakes, but uh, overall I'm pretty happy because last night the car was seriously in a ball of flames, and I thought I was done. There's some pictures on Facebook. Yeah, there's pictures on Facebook, and, and, pictures and of the, I'll have some pictures added in this video. This is going to be in my video. So. The remnants of the battery and the fire extinguisher spot out in the parking lot. Yeah, so overall the D2 Evo is a really good car. Um, Still a little bit of teething pains with it and everything, but I'm super happy with it so far. I had a lot of fun. This track is <clears throat> very high grip. It's kind of like modeling clay. And if I'm honest, I think I like the the, the gear diff better. Uh, it seemed to have a little more something. I can't explain. It's just a little more aggressive feel. That uh, is a consistency of fudge. Huh? This a little like fudge. Oh, the the dirt is consistency yeah. of fudge. It's like play-doh. <laughs> Uh, a, a wetter play-doh. Yeah, but you step your foot in and it kind of sinks in. It's really good. They, they take, Sean does a really good job keeping it up. So, um, anyway, I'll, I'll have a little more in the morning, a little more detail. I'll have the car with me and go over and add to the and video. And you got to tell them what I texted you six minutes before I got the phone call that it blew up. Yeah, I, she was at the hotel when the, the car caught on a fire. A non-smoking hotel. We had to sign a waiver and say we wouldn't smoke and all that. She said she could smell smoke, and then within a few minutes, Six I hooked up the battery later, yeah. backwards and uh, set the car on fire. Six uh, minutes later, I got the phone call. So, got back to the track, and... Uh, so, I'm psychic. I, I knew I had to work on the ball diff, or the diff. Devon had me a ball diff ready to go when I got there, so I put that in there. Um, got the feeling on it, and every bearing in the car was seized up from, I guess, from the fire extinguisher or the the washing I did afterwards, try to wash all the fire extinguisher stuff off. But a couple hours, David and I had the car back together and made some laps and the diff broke. So, um... But yeah, you were you were ready to hang your hat up and everybody was like, no, we're going to get it right in. Yeah, I was done. And people were coming to you telling you. Yeah, I was done and super frustrated and about the lowest I've been in my life. Uh, Since the warehouse closed? You know the year I've had, especially with the warehouse closing, and this was kind of a get back, get it back, and kind of help the. You know, been kind of depressed about it, and this really helped. A lot depressed. Yeah, so that was really a kick in the, in the gut. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, I was I was beat, but David Sawyer was went out there, looked at the car, and said, "Hey, is this car still good?" And uh, I was like, "Yeah, I'm done," you know, and then. Craig Jackson comes over and said, don't, don't give up. Uh, he said, we got parts. We're going to make this work. And him and David started talking about talking me into it. And it's like, this car is still good. He said, don't give up. We're going to, we're going to uh, get it going. I'm like, uh, you know what? You might be right. So my first goal was before this happened, I was get it cleaned up, get all that fire extinguisher stuff off of it. Cause I know that's just going to turn to oxidation and stuff. And a lot of it did. And a lot of it, uh, needs to be replaced or cleaned up. I'm going to take it apart first thing in the morning and um, see what it looks like, get it cleaned up best I can. Some of the screws are rusted and some of the aluminum is oxidized and the waterfall is melted pretty good, just covered in, I had to shave it off and dremel it out so the battery would even fit in it. Uh, but 
overall, it, it, a pretty successful uh, recovery. Anyway, uh, I'll have more details in the morning. That's probably a little longer than it should have been. I'll have to edit some of that out. But uh... Okay, so that wraps up the uh, my first event with a D2 Evo at Columbus, Georgia for their Grand Slam event. It was a $1,000 payout to win Mod Buggy, which I was in. I went in on the intention of not not winning that because there's usually a couple of ringers in that that you can't beat anyway but i gave it my best uh had a spectacular fire i've got the car torn down in about a thousand pieces right now cleaning it up because there's corrosion everywhere from the fire but overall it ended up pretty good i was down when we had the fire i thought it was over uh david sawyer and devon stepped up craig jackson stepped up and and convinced me to to stick with it and and see it out see it through and i'm very glad i did very pleased very pleased with the car it survived a horrendous day and uh, got some setup changes it was really good once we get it completely dialed in it's going to be fantastic i really enjoyed running on sean's track he did a great job running the event uh, had a pretty rough main uh, but overall, it's pretty good. The car's still easy to drive. I probably pushed it a little too much trying to keep up where I should have just calmed down and ran my race because the car had plenty of speed. It was faster than I was, that's for sure. But got a few things figured out. Still got a few more to go. A few more setup changes I'm going to make. I'm going to change to to a few more lightweight parts. Um, buy me a new ESC. I lost an ESC, a receiver, a transponder, and a motor. Um... So I got to get some new parts. I want to get a, a smaller lightweight servo anyway. I've been using the full weight. I want to use my eight scales because that's all I had. Uh, so I got to buy a few parts. I got a, a melted down waterfall. That's the worst spot, worst part that took the biggest hit because it's right up against the battery. I had to grind it down to get the battery in. Some of my the side guards are melted a little bit. They're still intact. Um, I'll probably change those. Uh, get a few spare parts, a few things I see that could be potential to break. I'm going to get a few more of those, and uh, we'll get back in business. So, had a good time. Uh, really glad to be back in two-wheel drive, and um, we're going to keep plugging away, and we'll get some more footage for you. So, make sure you stay tuned. I'll try to throw some some coverage in this, and shorten the video up, video up best I can, make it where it's not too boring. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.